Everything here is really a disease of too much insulin. And this is the part that sort of logic just breaks down. Because in medical school, you learn about all this stuff, and it's like, okay, well, if too much insulin causes everything that you see in PCOS, then what's the treatment? How about Clomid? It's like, okay, like, <laughs> did you not pay attention here? <laughs> Too much insulin was the problem. Why are you giving Clomid, which stimulates the ovary to, uh, you know, ovulate? It's like, how about an ovarian wedge resection? It's like, uh, what? What are you talking about? Right, so ovarian wedge resection was this sort of old-time treatment for PCOS, where they'd actually slice a little wedge, you know, like a little piece of watermelon out of your ovary. And that was a treatment for PCOS. And why did it work? Because if you slice a little wedge out of your ovary, your ovary cannot produce as much of the testosterone. So a lot of the symptoms would get better. But again, you're not making the actual disease better. Because you never actually treated the hyperinsulinemia. Or you can go to other treatments like metformin sort of makes little sense, but how about birth control pills? It's like, is that going to reduce your insulin? If it doesn't, then what are you doing for this disease? Like, you got to go back to the root cause of the disease and fix it if you want to fix this disease. And the disease is so common and causes so much heartache that we treat it sort of in, in this crazy manner when we already know what the root cause of this disease is. It's like, it's um, too much insulin, so let's reduce insulin. <laughs>